This dense jungle environment makes Guam the perfect place for training in the Pacific. Cope North is underway and our friends from down under brought man's best friend to Guam to demonstrate just how effective canines can be in a jungle environment. Military planners have expanded Cope North to include working dog exchanges this year. That meant Staff Sergeant Patty Eccles is playing host and the bad guy for the Australian canine demonstration, showing just how amazing these dogs are in every environment. Coming from their environment where they don't necessarily have a jungle, coming to a jungle here on Guam where they have to take into consideration the, the, the dense areas and being able to track through the jungle and small spaces. Dense jungle and small spaces makes Guam a unique place to bring together troops from our strongest allies in the Pacific. Australian and Japanese forces have come to the island for two weeks to test and develop more agile and flexible command and control systems among the forces. I'm certainly learning a lot. Every day we're doing different scenarios and um, my, me and my, myself and my dog are doing great and we're learning a lot from the United States Air Force K-9 guys. Um, and yeah, we're hopefully we're delivering um, some knowledge on their behalf as well. This is the first time military working dogs are participating in Cope North, which began in 1978. Coming together for two weeks helps cultivate common bonds between troops and their four-legged friends by training together to prepare for crisis or humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations within the Indo-Asia Pacific region. Reporting from Anderson Air Force Base, Guam, I'm Amy Forsyth.